Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're going to talk about Chase Young's right knee injury that happened just yesterday, actually, in a game against the Buccaneers. We're going to discuss the mechanism of injury, the anatomy behind what's looking like an ACL rupture at this point, and we're also going to discuss a general rehab timeline for Chase Young and what the return to play timeline looks like. Being a Washington fan, this was extremely difficult to hear about yesterday, uh, with Chase Young being one of our best players um, last year and this year as well but for anyone that's interested in learning more about his injury and his rehab i hope this video helps if you haven't met yet my name is jin i'm a third year dpt student and i post every week about interesting topics like these or my life in dpt school so feel free to subscribe and turn the notifications on if that is something that sounds interesting to you so looking at this injury um, it was a non-contact injury, meaning there wasn't an external load or an external blow to the knee that caused uh, damage to his ACL. Rather, it was the position of his knee that put the ACL in a severe risk of tearing when his foot was planted. So looking at his knee position here, you can see that it is in a valgus moment because he has his foot, his right foot planted. And also at the same time, he's trying to get to Tom Brady. Um, so you can see that his foot is, his right foot is firmly planted while his body is trying to rotate to the left. So you see the relative external rotation of the tibia relative to the femur. And you also see that the right knee is going through that valgus moment, meaning the inside of our knee is getting or his knee in this case, sorry, is getting closer to the midline of his body. So you can use this image up here to visualize what I was just describing. But essentially what I'm trying to say is that puts his ACL on the most amount of attention that um, it can handle. And in this case, unfortunately, the ACL wasn't able to handle the amount of pulling. And that's what happened with an ACL uh, damage and his knee injury in this case. So here are the grades for ACL injuries. Um, the biggest concern here is whether or not he's going to go through a surgery, an ACL reconstruction surgery. And to me, from what the reports are saying and the media is saying, it sounds like he's going to go through the ACL reconstruction, which means he'll be out for at least the rest of the season. So let's talk about the rehab timeline now. Um, this is going to be a very general timeline because we don't know so much about the injury yet. But we do know that one of the factors, the biggest factors that play a role in second ACL ruptures is returning to sport too quickly. So it is extremely, extremely important for Chase Young to go through proper rehab. All right, so here we go. Zero to two weeks, we're looking to control any inflammation, control pain and swelling, as well as trying to regain that range of motion three to six weeks and up to 12 weeks, which is three months because we're generalizing here. Um, more symmetry in gait, um, improved tolerance to loading and strength exercises is what we're looking for. Three to six months, we're going to continue to build on strength and power because atrophy is gonna be real. And finally, six months and out, we're looking to focus on sports specific drills and any exercises that will help him build up the strength and conditioning to meet the demands of an NFL player. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that he comes back stronger than before, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.